trustees meeting for um, the 14th of May, the order of course of pledge of the United States of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we begin this meeting, we have to set some ground rules. All citizens' comments have to be reserved to the end. Certain during citizens' comment. I thought we had changed that so they were in the beginning and the end. How did, when did that change? That's been like over a year ago. Well, you didn't say nothing about the last meeting, Molly. Okay. This meeting, we're going to reserve it because there, we need to move along with the business of the township. So if you have anything, there is a, a citizen's comment at the at the at the conclusion of new business. And you could have your set. Okay. All right. First thing up is consent agenda for uh, May 14, 2024. Support to approve the consent agenda. Uh, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Okay, motion carries. Old business is bid on um, budget amendments for 2023 2024. So I did, um, we have some park and rec um, budget amendments. So I did a spreadsheet so you could follow along and I printed off the um, last revenue and expenditure report for March 31st for Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. So it's all right here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, basically, we got um, reimbursed for the park grant. So we got money in. So I added it into the maintenance and repair for what went out for the pavilion and mm -hmm and phase one and two. Very good. Any questions on this? Do we need any motion to accept? I make motion to accept the budget amendments report. Any, any support? I'll support it. Okay, we have motion support for parts of record. Budget amendments for 2023-24. Um, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stone, yes. Motion carries. Okay. Last month we had a request from our Blaney, uh, our Blightman, our code enforcement officer for a pay raise. He currently makes $21 an hour. I searched around. Um, he was requesting a pay raise up to, 20, up to $26 an hour. I searched around, I pulled the various townships around this area. Basically, the townships you see on this list are townships that are very similar to Casco. They're, bed, they're bedroom communities of um, the Detroit area, so they're in southeastern Michigan. And I got, got there some, they go by hourly rate for dedicated code enforcement officials. Some, they get an annual salary, either the supervisor, building official, or township manager. Um, we have one where the deputy clerk does code enforcement. Not yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. So good. But we have some like we have some in the area like Lennox Township pays her just twenty twenty five an hour. Cotterville, which is southeast of us, twenty five dollars an hour. St. Clair Township also twenty five dollars an hour. As well as Birchville Township, twenty five dollars an hour. He also works for Ira? No. no. Where, is, where else does he work? Um, he works for Berlin Touch. Is that on there? What's no. that? I didn't notice. Yeah. No, so no, I, I didn't. I didn't call Berlin, no. Yeah, yeah okay. so. I called a bunch of other townships, too. In fact, I called a lot of townships. Yeah. He just went. Yeah. I can say that Kurt is doing an extremely good job for us. And he, um, 
He follows up on all sort, and he's willing to work when there is a thing and you have a resident that is working to correct a measure, he's willing to work with them. He can't work in Berlin Township. That's in Monroe County. No, no Berlin St. Clair. Berlin is up there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there's about six Berlin Townships okay. in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Well, there's there's two Cascos. I know it. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Couldn't so. they come up with another name? <laughs> Kurt also works well with the township staff. And, um, well, I think he deserves a raise, for sure. Okay. And he wants, what, 26, you said? Mm -hmm. Of course, I was comparing it for, to some of the bigger cities and that. These are townships are similar to Castle right here that mm -hmm. I looked at. So. Well, and I figured it out with him working the two days a week, and if we did, I think I did twenty five dollars. I didn't do twenty five. But it it came up like if I wanted to compare it like an annual salary, yeah, it came up to like sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Okay. If you want to put it in perspective of an annual salary, right, right. So less than seventeen thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, that was the twenty five. I think so. Okay. Maybe we should not make his request. Put out a number that seemed um, possibly reasonable. Like I said, he is affecting change already. You see him. He's doing a great job. Yeah, he is. What is he asking? Twenty-six. He's okay. asking twenty-six. Yeah. I'll make a motion for twenty-six. Okay. Okay. okay, we have a motion and support and support to give our clean enforcement officer Kim Kurt Sinkside a twenty-six dollar. Hour. Favorite? Um, B? You know? Any other questions? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Strawberry, yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right, the next one is the Council on Aging. They send us to this every year, and this is the one they're asking us for help funding for their activities. However, they do get a millage for this. And we have never supported this in the past. Oh. Yeah, because they get the millage for it. So they're looking for extra revenue. But they don't mention the amount or anything. Mm -mm. thoughts? My thoughts are no. Yeah, okay. We give a millage. Right. I and, agree. And they hold bake sales and they hold charity events, which everyone is invited to. It's the Washington Center in Marine City. Um, I support that, as well as many people in the area. Um, and so, no, um, our millage rate um, comes from the general public and I feel that at this time that's enough. Okay. I agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So just we have to do a motion to no, do a signal. No. Okay. All right. Okay. No action taken, just mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, our next one is Comcast cell phone. Um, so this, we've discussed this before um, about getting a couple of cell phones for um, the building official roll-in for the clerk's office, one for the clerk's office, one for the building department because a lot of times roll-in will text pictures and they have a hard time printing them off. So for them to like text back and forth the pictures and um, and yeah. Kurt. Yeah, she should have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, um, someone had just reached out to me from Comcast, so I told him, sure, I'll listen to what he had to say. So this is what he had to say, that we can offer our five lines of unlimited for $140 a month, no contract. Um, they do offer free, um, what is it, an Android phone right now, which... I don't, I'm not comfortable using Android phones, but I mean, 
they had last month, I think they had free iPhones, so I think they flip flop every month. But, um, I don't know if you give them all. Yeah, I don't know either. But I just figured I'd bring it back up because of all the, the conferences and, and classes we've taken, we took a class a couple years ago at the conference, the clerk's conference, and the state police were there and they said you should not use your personal phone, you should have a separate phone. Because if there's some kind of legal mm -hmm. proceedings against the township and you send one thing on your phone or call one people, one person or get one phone call, they can take your phone and oh. confiscate it and yeah, use absolutely. it for evidence. Sure they can. So, and I know when I'm gone, I use my phone <coughs> to check my email, I use my phone to call in. So, so we would, how many, you're asking for two lines? Well, they have five lines for 140, so it would be one oh. for the clerk's office, one for Roland, one for the building office, one for Kurt, and if anybody else, Joe, if you needed one, or? It's where, I mean, the yeah. first one's definitely, yeah, we need to get them okay. there. So, yeah, for the legality of it, yeah. and the clarity of it, and you being able to send pictures back to the office and such like that, Yeah. I right. think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I find myself taking a lot more pictures now than I ever did before. But my phone pretty filled up. I mean, I just cleaned it out the other day. So it's fine. Okay, that's going to take a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you think it would help. Okay, so you're making a motion? Yes. Okay, do we have support on that? I support that. Yeah, we have motion support to get the, um, the was it the five phone, five lines of phones for $440 a month? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, uh, any questions? Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay, motion carries. Okay, next one is an invoice for um, PBM Glow Incorporated. This is uh, for, the, um, for the construction of the Casper Township Belvedere Park Phase 1 to buy construction plans oversight. It's for $835. Make a motion to approve the invoice for $835 to Pam Blau. Support. Okay, we have a motion support to pay the invoice to Pam Blau for $835. Any questions? Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Yeah, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Uh, Stevens, yes. Step back a minute. Did we ever uh, resolve the issue of, of the phone? I mean, each of them will need a phone. With the new phone lines? Yes. Each one will need a phone. Yes. We approved 140 a month. Did we approve phones? Because that's, that's a whole different amount, amount of money. Well, we would, yeah, we would have to do that. Or if, like this month, they have a free free Android phones, or we wait till next month and see if they have yeah, free and that's free a good iPhones. idea. No, that's a good idea. Okay. So we could I just wanted to make sure yeah. that issue we could was hold off. Yeah. at least yeah. out there. Yeah, as long as we have the motion for the lines, we'll wait for the mm -hmm. proper phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're all. Hey, colleagues, are you yes on the panel? Yes. Okay, very good. Motion carries. Okay, um, next one we have a bond revoke for permit number 4028. Um, this permit was issued in December 2019. It was already scheduled for in two phases. There was ultimately a disagreement between parties in which you can see in a letter dated June 23rd, 2020, wherein they requested the permit be closed out. We then received a letter dated June 24th, 2020, wherein they requested that the permit not be closed out. We never received any request for inspections after that date. We ask that this bond be revoked and the $250 go to the Township General Fund as common as in our common practice in these situations. I make a motion to revoke bond number, uh, where is it? 4028. 4028 for $250. Support? Support. Okay, we have motion support to revoke um, um, the permit number yeah. 4028. Um, Roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay. Motion carried. Planner fee schedule. Um, Karen Laverne there with um, Kazalev Planning. She put her fee schedule out 
There's just some minor adjustments. It's almost verbatim to what we worked with under Steve Casson. There were some minor adjustments. In fact, some of the ones that we don't use as much, she took off. She actually lowered the price on it. So once we get these approved, we'll post those and build what we'll, we'll work for. Um, when, we, uh, when we have applicants there wishing to do work here in the township. Move to adopt the fee schedule as proposed. Support. Okay, we have motion support to adopt the fee schedule <coughs> for of planning as proposed. Any questions? Okay, do we need a roll call vote on this? Yes. Okay, that's right, deals with money. Roll call vote? Anderson, yes. Dean, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Stover, yes. Okay, motion carries. Okay, there was a thing about, um, Roll and I worked on um, the thing for these requirements for the bid packages for there. Um, Jennifer and Vicki did some of the things. There was a breakout communication. I dropped the ball on this one. I'll get, we'll get that corrected tomorrow and get that all sorted out. So we'll get, start posting it to, um, we can post it online and start accepting bids for the, the addition, okay? It was just I think we already approved the the actual wording for the paper. It was we were just waiting on what we wanted the bid package to look like. Yeah, it's just so. some of the requirements we would like. We when a um, a, a builder comes, I mean, like ninety five percent of what they're going to bid on is in the plans, and there's about some requirements that we want in addition to the plans, and there was. Uh, so I will ju I'll jump on that first thing tomorrow morning. We'll get that taken care of. That. Any questions? Okay. The next one is the IRA contract, fire contract. Is in my letter, cover letter here, it follows the same increase. Every year it goes a 2.5% increase over the other one. Except there is a change. Because of price um, costs have gone up, they asked for this year, we pay them $5,000 in addition to the regular 2.5% um, over each year. So, um, like, the final cost for um, 2024 is 49783 Well, in order, like, to right-size the cost, we're asking for a $5,000 one-time payment. So the starting off cost for this year will be 54783 then every year afterwards is just a 2.5% 2, 2 increase. Any questions on this? No, this is standard business. We do it in the last contract. The uh, $5,000 is generally incorporated into equipment requisition. Gas and and diesel we'll, we'll be doing the same thing right. with uh, Richmond yeah. next month. Yeah. Richmond laid out in your It's the cost of doing business, yeah. and um, it's, you know, it is, they protect it is and we've been, Vicky's been doing a good job getting um, the fire runs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been getting a lot of the money in you know, compared to what it used, it used to, be. to be. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. They do a good job as long as their communication with your office stays up to date and your office because you wanted a little bit more communication with the fire chief and IRA. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, we don't have any communication with the chief of Richmond at all. I mean, <coughs> the guy from Ira takes care of everything. Yeah, well, uh, well, that'll be the next thing. What's that? That'll be the next thing on the agenda. Oh, okay. But I think they um, right. they bend over backwards yeah. uh, as far as their booking <coughs> goes and their acquisition of uh, uh, trucks and uh, all of their machinery, all of their equipment. Um, they really do a bang up job. I really you mean Ira? do. Ira and Richmond both. Yeah. I don't think you can fault these guys. Um, yeah. So this is not out of line. I make a motion that the uh, Ira fire fire uh, project be approved. Can we contract? Okay. okay, we have motions. We have a relationship with Ira. We have a problem. Yeah. Okay. Both. 
before we go on, Ira Township covers the bottom section, the bottom six sections, and a half of a section, the southern part of the township. So that's what they do. They cover, um, and Richmond Fire Department covers the northern part plus of all of I-94. So that's our fire coverage. Right. Richmond Linux EMS does total EMS service throughout um, Casco Township. So, okay. Um, okay. This will be, um, we have motion support. A roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Yes. 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 I said, I said. You did. Yes. Um, okay, motion approved. And what I'll do, I'll call up Supervisor Enders tomorrow, and he'll have a formal contract signed up that we agreed upon their terms and set it for signature. Okay, <laughs> the next one is the Ira Township Site Plan Review. Rowan, this is one, what you're concerned about. This is when we ever have a commercial or industrial project it has, the, the site plan has to be reviewed by the fire chief. Chief Keller in Ira Township does that for the entire township. They're asking no pay increase um, on this. So it is, uh, it's $100 per review. And if there, it fails for any inspection, a re-inspection would be $75. Sounds like a deal. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, so you're making a motion to accept yes. that? Okay, yes. any support? I support. Okay, a motion support for to accept the Ira Township site plan review contract. Um, you don't have to do roll call. Oh, we do. Yeah, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. <laughs> Stover, yes. Okay, motion carries. The next one is Tommy's Party Store. Okay, I read the letter that I wrote. Multiple attempts to rectify the ongoing blight issues at the site of the former Tommy Party Store, 10973 Grand Avenue, have been unsuccessful. The property owner, Jamil Madeer, has been sent multiple letters by Casco Code Enforcement Official Kurt Singh Sock to have the property blight issues addressed. Mr. Madeer has failed to respond to any of these letters. As a last resort, the township's attorney sent a letter. This attempt to reach out to Mr. Nadur Nadir has also proved unsuccessful. At this point, this issue needs stronger action. I request that the board give Casco's legal counsel, Chris Anderson, permission to file a case in St. Clair County Circuit Court. Including this memo are copies of letters sent by Mr. Nadir and a step-by-step -step description of the steps necessary to initiate legal action. So the first thing they do, okay, if we approve this, is they're gonna do Determine the owner of property, approximately cost about $325 for a title search. Um, not just that, we sent letters. We also talked, myself and Kurt talked to the Kevin Malinowski, the realtor that's um, representing the sale of the building. Yeah. Who's doing the title search? Chris Anderson. Will. We're paying for a title search for his company, for Tom's Party Store? Well, they'll, I mean, well, this is, that's the first they got to determine who owns the building. Wouldn't that be up to the, the, this real estate person? Why are we paying for a title search? I get that's what they commonly do in these cases. You mean before you file in court? Yes. Yeah. I mean, then let's say if it, what the, if it wasn't. They, would, they have a for sale sign up. They're yes, selling they that property. Yeah. How can they sell it without having a title search on their, be on their behalf? Yeah, that, I, I can't address that. <clears throat> I don't know that. Well, they must have a title. Yeah. Well, they can't sell it without a title. Right. But before Kurt, Chris has to file in court, she has to determine who the owner is. Is that a, is that a circuit court requirement that she present a title yes. search? Yes. Well, can't can she get the title well, from could her? Could you confirm that so that we're all on the same page about why we really need this? Okay. If it's well, a court requirement, if that's it, I'm sure else. it's a court requirement, but so is it a requirement for that man to sell his property. Yeah. Well, I mean, so we're in so, essence paying for his title know, search. There might already be one in existence that exactly. can be used. Yeah. There and has that, to be. Yeah. So we should try to find out if Yeah, regardless, Colleen, regardless, even if the property wasn't for sale, 
before Chris filed, she would have all to right, pay All right, all right, $325 charged to the township, fine. Is it possible for Chris to determine from the realtor if there's a title search, and if so, to get it? Uh, it's rather than getting the think. township up to have it done a oh, second time right. around. Okay, I will call on this, but what the okay, big question, this. do you want to initiate action? Yes, we okay. have to initiate yeah, action. Absolutely. That's an eyesore right. and a health, yes. and a health yes. problem. It looks It bad. just looks like, it's horrible. I don't know well, why this cost. The out, they took the dumpster, but like everything that yeah. fell is it's still just the right there. there. There's a lot of stuff around, yeah. all around yeah. the building. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a public safety and health issue and it has to be dealt with. Yeah. It's, it's very sure it publicly visible. Yes, I, I will find out about the title search. Yeah. There so. very likely is a title search being done to sell the building. Yeah, exactly. And if that can be uh, okay. used for the court, that would be okay. savings. For All us. right. But okay, regardless, if we could use one out there, fine. If we have to reaccomplish it, it needs the to be done. I just want to move forward. Actually, I, I believe that often the title search is done at the time the sale is closed by one or another of the parties. And I'm not sure there really is one out there, but there might well be. Yeah, why well, pay the title? Yeah, if it's already out there, right. we should uh, have access to it. Okay. Okay. All right. I what I'll do today, if the board wants me to move ahead on this, I will ask Chris to check out to see if there's already a title search been done. If not, I will say go ahead, reaccomplish. I mean, do what you need to do. Yeah, do it. Okay. Because we need to get this title together. Uh -huh. Okay. So does Richmond. Okay, so um, excuse me. No, there will be citizens' comments after this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So I make a motion. Yes. Do, do, do we yeah. make a motion? Yes. Because yeah. you have to find out yet. Well, no. I. We no, got just to make a motion. Just make a right motion. Here. Okay. Make a motion. Okay, I'll have to give Chris okay, I'll make a motion to give Chris Anderson permission to file a case in St. Clair County Circuit Court for Tommy's Park Store. Okay. Support. The oh, point. Okay. Okay, we have a motion and support to give our legal counsel, Chris Anderson, permission to file a case in St. Clair County Circuit Court. Any other questions? Okay, roll call vote. Anderson, yes. Dan, yes. Kaczynski, yes. Stevens, yes. Over yes. Okay, motion carries. Now we're up to citizens' comments. I was just going to say, because it's so close to Richmond, does Richmond ever get a hold of you guys to say, what's going on with your business? Over well, we had, uh, we've had, we uh, had, matter of fact, I had a very irate township, uh, a resident of the city of Richmond talk to me yesterday. Oh. But, yeah, it's been a thing. We're moving forward to get it cleaned up. It looks bad. Anyone else have a question? Anybody? In regards. No, anything. Okay. Last time I was here with GLM, mm -hmm. you guys could have told me that he was on the board of the planning commission. Nobody said nothing about that. I come in here to touch the front, the board, he's a chairperson. But he recused himself during the discussion. I understand that. I understand that, but you could have warned me and said, hey, you know, he's on the board. It's public information. Yes. I didn't know, really? Never been to a, a, a planning commission. Well, well, been to this commission this year, mm -hmm. but never there. And to see him on the board? Come on. Well, you should have had you should have had more a higher standard, let's put it that way. Well he's a, to do what he did. He's a very good planning commissioner. I, I understand I, that, but don't you expect a little bit more out of a person that is in charge of something instead of trying to slip something on the table? What do you mean? The rock crusher. The rock no. crusher. That's what I'm saying. And nobody, what I'm asking, did every, anybody resolve this issue? No. Often, often when people do stuff, sometimes they don't realize they're doing something wrong. That often. When they realize that there is a um, uh, ordinance violation, they'll quickly correct themselves. Most people do. Have, has there been did you just did you do that hear what I just said said about him being the known better being on the chairperson? Well, he uh, we learned that it's a special way in use. Yeah, he did discover that. So he's a he's a new business owner. He's learning in his business. And the question he's, he's raising, I think, is 
why wasn't he informed that this person that there's an issue with is the chair of the planning commission? I think that would have been a reason. That's all. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yes, that's I, what I'm saying. I, 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 I was, I, I, I was actually right. flabbergasted when I said after after the meeting that particular day, you and him were talking. I assumed he yeah, told you. No. He should have told you. No. I think that's the I no, he never did. did. I talked to the man. He was sitting up here after the meeting. Introduce himself, blah blah. Never, you should have said never, that I am on the planning commission. I chair it. Yeah. I'm going to recuse myself right. from this. Okay. I found out from this right. when I got I'm not going to okay. participate. But then, yeah. what I'm asking is, was is it resolved? I mean, well, is he done? Is he going to try to do it again? Yeah, the contractor's um, gone. I haven't talked to him about it since then. But if he comes back to do that, he'll have to go through a special land use. But he can't. He there's no land use. You have to have heavy industrial. Okay. I mean, and we, we don't, don't have it in our town. We mean. don't have that in Casco. Our zoning yes. isn't separate between light industrial, just as industrial. Yes, I understand. So has there been any more problems? No, no. Good. Well, what I'm what I'm saying yes, is, I understand. Could have been well, heads off. Uh -huh. There's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of times people initiate in certain areas under the best of intentions and don't realize <clears throat> that a, a ordinance violation is going on. And when they find out, most people correct themselves. And Mr. Sarcone, okay. He didn't correct himself until I came in and complained about Well, he it, Okay, he, he was on, he, he should, like I said, he should have had a higher stand of being a chairperson. I mean, so that was the first time. Huh? That was the first day he was a chairperson. Yeah. Because elections were just had the meeting before. And somebody said mention that yeah. too. Yeah. But then do you know how, how you feel when you're listening to somebody that's breaking the rules, trying to enforce it with people here? Uh-huh. You were blindsided and that was I not just, a good thing. Exactly. Mr. I mean Green. even the even the bling guy could have told me, hey, you know what, he uh, he's yeah. the owner of the ZLM. Did you did do you have uh, addressed when you were at that meeting the issue of the lights? Did that come up? That came up. Was too. that resolved? No, nope. it's still there. Oh. And I don't, I don't, be honest, I don't see why they got them that far back. You're in our backyards. I mean, you guys ought to come. Honestly, I didn't know how bad it was until I drove on 26. He's got a little, like a Christmas tree. Well, there's. there's Is that all night? Yes. Oh. No, there's. No, it's not all not well, go on there. Ray, that's what I'm saying. Lights can be turned. There's can be shielding put on lights or that. He could do that because, okay. and, and like I tried explaining to the the planning commission, we're industrial, commercial. Far how far back off Church Road? In fact, I'm next to the guy. Half a mile. Yeah, yeah some of our okay. lights go back half mile. So. Yeah, but. Their lights are farther back. That's what I'm saying. Them lights should be cut off right at that borderline where, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. It's farther back. And they, and go by, the, let's go by let, there. Let me talk to them. I'll give them a call tomorrow to talk they'll to them. put a shade down or something, but nobody's gonna steal them from the damn woods. I mean, okay. what do you got like? No taking. I'll give them a call tomorrow about the lights. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, any other questions, sir? Sherry Simons, 9609 Lake Road. Is there anything that the township can do or research or anything about the proposed total drain that runs along Meisner to Meldrum and towards 26 Mile? Okay. Because I'm at the start of that drain and my yard floods mm -hmm. and the neighbors battle backs up. Okay. Telto drain? I could call Is the drain. Is that the one that runs in front of my house? Yep. Okay. It's running fine now in my house, but well, that, that, that's that a lot of water, water coming through there. Right. A lot of water. Yeah, a lot of water the other day. I know. Oh yeah, <coughs> yeah. Now, I would have to leave from property. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you would. Yeah. Good thing I'm at I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The township's low, especially that southern. When you get um, yeah. halfway down, I mean, on Church Road, like um, between um, Meisner and Springborn Road, and then it drops really low. That's just the nature of the land there. Yeah. But I'll call the drain commission about Pelto Drain. Yes, yeah. because it's backing up at the beginning before the drain portion. Okay, and you live at where at? 9609 Meisner. 9609 Meisner. Okay. I beg you to remember that being talked about 
quite a few years oh, ago. We, with and and we did, we did. And the interesting thing, now that you say that, um, the interesting thing was, and this is yours, I think this had to even be before your time, when Dr. Grigerowitz <coughs> lived next door to me in the big White House. And so the telltale drain came down in front of my house, curved around, went under the road, and then ran into a dam that Dr. Grigerowitz had because at the time he had horses. He hasn't oh. had, there hasn't been horses yeah. there in 40 yeah, years. Yeah, I remember that. I'm wondering if that dam is still there because it flows perfectly well, but it's it's flowing. I mean, if when it's when it's high in my ditch, mm -hmm. then you know that you're flooded. I know yeah. that. Because but it there's goes a lot down. of trees throughout that ditch. Because yeah. it runs right along right there in front of people's yeah. houses. Yeah, and, like and I can see it coming, but yeah. it has to be, something has to be cleaned out at your end because it seems to be, you know, it's coming. And, yeah. and, uh, and then the second stoppage would be under Carol's property if yeah. that is still there. Because they cleaned up the ditch along Meisner Road yes. and part right to the, or I think all the way to the drain. Yeah. But I mean those drain. fields Not are church. flooded. Across uh, the street from me they're flooded but yeah. they're in the backs of the houses and then they come around and mm -hmm. then down into my drain so it's 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 bad, but there I don't know that they're planting back there, yeah. so they might not. Yeah. Be but I didn't know like yeah. if they're going to research how much it would cost. Well, I, I, I I'll, call, I'll call the drain commission. And see, sometimes there's there's different local stoppages. I know we have one up on the the inter county drain, the Richmond inter county drain there that runs parallel to St. Clair Highway. Mm -hmm. There's a blockage there, but I'll call the drain commission tomorrow and see if one of drain commissioners can go out there and take a look and okay. see if there's any blockage. Or okay. Another uh, idea would be having just maybe a drone or something and go down that drain. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of times. Because they, I don't know if you can trust that. Usually the drain commissioners, they'll, they'll go walk it. Okay. I've had them walk through a few times. Okay. Different times. Because they, there's a lot of trees in that drain yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, sometimes so. there's blockage. There's mm -hmm. the debris gets in there. Like that. Or, you should go see the drain, I think, that Mr. Sacco did on Mayor Road at Meisner. Now that's a work of art. I don't, I don't, the Road Commission, the Drain Commission didn't do that. That had to be Mr. Sacco. Okay. That is something to see. <laughs> so if we could just rent a digger and get somebody to do it. Yeah. Uh, another idea or another thing is, uh, is there supposed to be a monthly report from Kurt? Yes, we do have it. Okay, Vicki, have it right Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? I got a quick question. If you need to have a special variance if a person wanted to get six kangaroos instead of horses or anything? Well, it's, that's handled under our livestock <laughs> ordinance. Okay, okay, just curious. <laughs> when you get the chances, hey, we're going to go to the federal government. Are we? Yep. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> yeah. exotic animals yeah. has to go to the federal government and the state have to approve That's that. That's why I'm asking you. Jimmy, yeah. 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 I have a question for you. Yeah. Because you're very uh, good with those diggers. If, if you were going to create a furrow, a wide furrow, about 200 feet, what do you think the charge would be if you hired somebody to do it? In the middle of my field or yeah. in the drain right away? What? Like the sack or if he cleaned a ditch all right? Yeah. The way it goes, I do believe them ditches have right of ways, you know, on either side or the center of that yeah. ditch. But about how much, if you, can you can hired do, somebody to do that? I don't know. You don't know? No. A 200 foot furrow? Furrow, I mean, you're talking. I'm talking like feet? the one that's right down here. Right down here on, on Meldrum Road. The tell toast did. That I got so little nice. ditch they just in. Yeah. How much would that cost? For, that's more That's more of a ditch than a furrow. Well, they didn't use, yeah, they didn't I guess use, it is. They didn't use a I'm there. just wondering. Well, I mean, you get your contract in here, <coughs> you better have a fix to check on. That's what I'm wondering. But you know, with all the phone calls we get after after floods 
if you had a digger, you could make some money around here. Oh, yeah, except for <laughs> like somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Road Commission yeah, has to bring the permission to go into the ditch. Yeah, but if you dig it, if you dig it, you're playing the ditch. This is your play, and all you're doing is furrowing to the ditch. So you don't need permission to do that. The ditches here, they're designed. A lot, sometimes we get questions, can I go out and clean my ditch? And the answer is no. The reason why the road commission, uh, yeah. these ditches are designed to flow a certain way. So if you, when, when they clean out ditches, like they did on Beefy Road this past year, and they're going to be doing on Springborn, the road commission, they have to engineer that ditch cleaning to make sure it flows the proper way. So it's, in all these ditches in Casco, I don't care what road you're on on either side of the road, you take three inches off the bottom of that ditch and then cattails out of there and you will see your water problem go away. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Well, Jim, I, yeah. I've said this before. If no I, money, let me guess. Yeah, that's, it comes to always some money issues. Like I said, and I've said this before, if I could have one thing, is have a road commission crew, all he did would be clean ditches and drains in the township. He did mention that. Yeah. I was there. And and I'll tell you what, I talked to my other su fellow supervisor in the area, and they said the exact same thing. Wait, but you go that. back to the originals and old farmhouses along any road in here that's been established, say, for 100 years, whenever they improve these roads, some of them culverts are three-quarters full of crap because of no maintenance yeah. and you wonder why it don't run. Jim, we're, the, don't ditches we're gonna be, the ditches were going to be cleaned out on Springborn. I don't think they'd probably been cleaned over in a hundred years. Probably the original ditches. Look at the culverts. Yeah, and like the ditch. They're three quarters full. And then we're at grade when they got them. On Beefy Road, they had to clean out the ditch. They're north of Sickler Highway, a thousand feet to get to that county Where? drain. I don't think that's been cleaned in multiple right. decades. Look at our I call them cricks and ditches, county right away ditches. Your <coughs> drain commissioner, you better bring a chainsaw because if you think he's going to walk down them ditches without getting his face tore off by branches, he's got a thing coming. So the, the, and it's no maintenance. Yeah, the drain commissioners, when I asked them to go out there, they do a good job. Go check it out. We, I checked with Colin, did, Colleen, didn't we spend 128000 on our winter tax? To the drain drain commission. Yes, we what did. What have you seen and, done and on any drains that even they went a hundred foot? Well, the only drain that I've noticed in the last two weeks has been Mr. Sacco's drain. Yeah. Right, but I'm saying the bar. Well, they tax you, you get cracked. They more. will. They will be the Peters drain. It's in the southeastern portion of the township. They'll be. They're going to be working on that this year. So that's one of the drain. But you know, for 128,000, it was collectively sent to them. Yeah. When you say they're going to be working, are they going to go 100 foot? Are they going to do the job right? Yeah, I mean, they engineer. They they do the best they I'm can. I'm sure when they put them ditches in 90 years ago, 100 years, look at the culverts. Them were all engineered, maybe not, but they had enough sense to know water runs downhill. And you look at them culverts, and they're three quarters full of non-maintenance. On these road ditches, and it's going to get progressively worse. And you wonder why it floods. Okay. Anyone else has uh, any questions? Okay. Um, board comments. I included um, two letters in the board packet. I am now a Michigan professional municipal clerk, right. certified, as is my deputy dog, Victoria. So now we will be working on our CMC, which is a certified municipal clerk. So hopefully within the next year or two, we will right. be some CMC. Thank you. And, and, and down the road, how much is that going to cost? Oh, so the what? A couple thousand. Be in all. Yeah. That's yeah. cheap as half the price. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they yeah. have yeah. trained people. Yes. yes. Professionals. Does the oh, the first time in the history of the township that I, I know of. I'm talking about Although he's a... Uh, citizen planner certified, but this is the first time that's happened in the township. It's kind of education, so I think it's great. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. Fabulous. Thank, thank you. You do us proud. Okay. I am done. Yes. Okay. So, so at the end of April, 
Jennifer and I went to a conference in Traverse City, and I learned a lot, and we took, we took separate classes and, and lectures so we could learn as much as we could, and one of the things that I took is road, road management, mm -hmm. okay, and that was very interesting, and then um, the renewable energy people, boy, were they pushing. Oh, that they were. Oh, they were pushing. Oh, and they had lots of freebies with the oh, vendors. They so yeah, they oh, they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. So I went to that, and um, uh, meetings and teamwork. It was very, very interesting, very well worth going. And we have all these handouts. <laughs> <coughs> and there's... I okay. think 10 or 12 of the classes that were recorded. Mm -hmm. So we can watch them. I think we have a year we can watch them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's there's a lot that they were they had uh, an interesting article about flight of blight fight. I did take take that one that was very Did important. you? Yes. Okay. Yes. And human trafficking. I mean just a lot of different things that you wouldn't even think of. So it was very interesting. Very, very well worth oh, Thank you for your time and going. All right. Good deal. I'm glad you got there. Yeah, it was good. 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 Okay, Dan. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. I have a couple things. Um, the Road Commission, they did our gravel haul on North South Road, so all the thing didn't. One quick question about what he was saying about the drain. Remember how Church Road used to flood and they cleaned the other side ditch out? Well, the problem we have now is since all over the years, all that gravel that washed, washed over, down. even my culverts washed away. We got that side's got to get have all clean because it's all it's all the gravel, all the gravel over the last two three years are sitting. They've got to shoot it out of there. No, I had to put another culvert in, and I yelled at the contractor because he didn't have it straight. He says, no, Mr. Manny, all the gravel from the road is pushing the ditch, like he said, smaller. So I got all that gravel that's going to have to get cleaned out. So that's, but they did come down the road and replaced it last week. Okay. Yeah, they, um, they did the gravel haul on all the north-south roads, so that's done. Um, they're glad it rained because that locked in some of the dust, but we will be getting chloride, so I'll have two applications this year. Um, the match grant, the, on local roads, we always have a match grant to do um, where we put up a certain amount of money, the county will match it to do projects on local roads, township roads. This year we're going to be doing ditching on Springboard. For 2025 and 2026, I'd like to do, we got some ARPA money from the county. I would like to take that ARPA money and combine that with the match grant to overlay the last two miles of St. Clair Highway. So we'll, later in the summer, we'll get more details from the county. And they, they're estimating the amount we're going to be getting from the county will be about 140000 of that ARPA money. We matched that with the match grant. They said that should be enough to finish the St. Clair Highway overlay project with about $10,000 left over. Kind of that. So we can use that for other issues. So you can I, double dip? What's that? You can double dip on that yeah. with the ARPA money and yeah. the match grant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least that's what the road commission says. I, I, I do have a comment about the road. <laughs> yeah. We rode around in, um, in uh, Macomb County yesterday, my wife and I, for whatever reason. And the roads here are like 20 times better than anything we ever encountered over there. In Macomb County? County? Yeah. yeah. No, here they're better. Yeah, they are. Much better. Yeah. Macomb has an By degrees. Yeah. degrees. Yeah. And I think that folks on our board need to get some credit for that. Yeah. Because that, we, we really are in good yeah. shape relative to those guys. Yeah, and the, the Road Commission in our area foreman does a great, I can call him up at any time and he's willing to. And but you're doing a good job with that too. That's a strong suit. And a strong uh, suit. we have five large culverts that we replace. I asked the, the question to the Road Commission, can we get Infra federal infrastructure money to replace those culverts. They looked into that and only <coughs> counties in the Pacific Northwest are eligible. Oh. <laughs> Not the rest of the county. Um, so, but I'm asking, so uh, I asked the question. 
Um, one final thing is we have a couple internet providers. Okay, we have parts of the township that were underserved, especially in the southern part of the township. Underserved? With broadband. That's a nice word. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I'm still getting smoke signals. They applied, there's a couple different grants. We had one micro Mercury Wireless um, bid and got the on those areas that were not served. And Duke Broadband out of St. Clair is laying fiber cable into those areas. They're able to do so you can have both in that area. They're starting in um, Cockerville Township, then they'll work in Ira, and then they'll finish up in Casco. Is that high speed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a problem with Memphis. Okay. Any other? Well, so back to the roads. Have you heard anything about Russia yet? Well, right now, the first thing they're going to start, the first project is um, the DC Road, um, the Southern Turn Lane, that's going to start next week. Um, there's signs up for that. And that's going to take about um, about three weeks, two to three weeks for that to be I asked, I haven't got a response back from the engineer's office, but um, I believe the grass ship will be the next project to rebuild between County Line Division Road. I'm curious where they're going to send all those trash trucks. What's that? I'm curious what direction they're going to send yeah, all the I'll find trucks. that out um, about the trash trucks. Because they can't go through either. I don't think and we, no. You don't know they'll no, either. No, I think what they'll do, Nick, they'll, they'll probably send them down the 26 mile road. But the the reason they, they don't go down there anymore, from what I was told, is New Haven which got their got that stretch of grass weight restricted to where they can't run it. Oh. That's why they all started going yeah, to 32. Yeah, they can't go down Palms Road or St. Clair Highway. That's the, awesome. New Haven somehow got that stretch restricted so that they can't go down 26 and up Grand I, I will look up. I will. This is already a bus. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they will be able to bring their trash for a little bit. Oh, they'll know. They'll still bring it. Don't worry. They'll figure out right. That's why I was wondering if there's a way maybe that we can wait restrict our section of Grand That would be lovely. Yeah. Because they, they destroy the roads and they leave a lot of tires all over the place. I do it every day. Isn't that the subject? Isn't it almost full? Is there any word mm -hmm. about the vital reaction and say how it is in that controversy? Is there what I heard? I mean, you got a controversy, controversy about the vital reaction up at Smith's Creek. They all know. They all know. I am afraid. There's a problem with their accountability in our landfill, Sangler County landfill. I know it works well because it's run now. They need more garbage. Well, yeah, we went cost of more to run it is making yeah. Uh, electricity and also it's causing other problems. They've limited the position. So it appears that St. Clair County landfill can only take one day. Okay. All right. Any other questions for that? No. Okay. Okay. We're up to adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Support. Yeah, motion to adjourn. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye.